what is the most important nakshatra of your horoscope is it the nakshatra where your ascendant is falling or is it the nakshatra where your moon is falling or some other planet which nakshatra decides your life which nakshatra decides your life pattern which nakshatra decides whether you will be successful or not that nakshatra which is most important is the muhurta based nakshatra you know muhurta is very important there is limitations in astrology if you don't consider remedies what is the purpose of knowing something that you cannot change astrology is about understanding why things are happening and how you can change it understanding what is going to happen in future and prepare yourself according to it plan things accordingly and also there are many things which cannot be avoided on your own for that you will need the grace of gods these are the spiritual remedies but as i always say the remedy authenticated by astrology itself because the religious remedies are dependent on the religion that you follow it is dependent on the sect that you follow but astrology is universal talking of universal astrology spiritual remedies cannot be put into it what are the astrological remedies it is the muhurta vastu and matchmaking surprising part is the matching of horoscope that is matchmaking is not a part of jatak predictive natal astrology but is a part of muhurta because matchmaking is like a remedy where two likely minded people meet and marriage each meet and marry each other live with each other in order to promote prosperity and harmony in each other you see muhurta have the capacity to change everything even those people who don't have combinations of success if they start doing everything in a good muhurta they can make sure that they become successful so even for the worst horoscope muhurta comes as a saving grace those who already have combinations of success if they use muhurta in their day to day life their success will be manifold in things the working of muhurta can be checked in day to day life and it works flawlessly even for the smallest things there is a mention of muhurta then why you don't consider the muhurta of your birth that is the most important event that have happened to you in this life your birth time according to me muhurta of the birth is very important the combination of the horoscope raja yogas planetary placements and everything is like influences over the time muhurta is the quality of time influence over time is like someone going and sitting in a spiritual meet where people are talking about spirituality for everyone this is beneficial for but if someone is deaf if one cannot hear what will they gain by going into some such spiritual gatherings they will gain nothing right so this is what muhurta is if the birth time muhurta is weak the horoscope becomes weak and because of this weakness all the good yogas don't give the result to their maximum i use muhurta to grade the level of horoscope the level to which progress can be made the level to which prosperity can be achieved a weak someone born in a weak muhurta all the raj yogas will be destroyed or at least their working will be confined you can use dhan yogas to check how much wealth one will earn but to really assess the amount of wealth that one will earn you will have to take into consideration birth muhurta and the same goes with anything the same goes with raja yoga also before i introduced it in the world of astrology by the name of using panchang things were there but it was not classical it was an authentic which does not prove in practice according to me all the canons of muhurta judgment should be used while checking the birth time also 
the Tithi Var, Nakshatra Yogas, and all of the Panchang related things, Siddhi Yoga, Amrit Yoga, all of that should be checked and a proper assessment of horoscope. In that, in this context, what is a Muhurta? What is actual Muhurta? Analysis of Panchang is to be made. This complete analysis of Panchang is also known as Muhurta, but in this setup of Panchang, there is an element by the name of Muhurta. That is an, there is an element by the name of Muhurta. The day and the night are divided into 15 parts each. Day is divided into 15 parts and the night is divided into 15 parts. This is the Muhurta. Total duration of 24 hours into 30 different parts. And based on the birth time, one is born in a particular month. This Muhurta have a name and it corresponds to a nakshatra. This nakshatra is very minute, minutest of all. Moon will change a nakshatra in a day. Many people are born in a day. Lagna nakshatra, if you consider in daytime, six lagnas will be six lagnas will rise. Taking almost three nakshatra per lagna, there will be around 18, 9, 18 to 20 nakshatras which rise. Sorry. There will be somewhere around 13, 14 nakshatras which rise a day. Right? This is still not that minor. The Mahurta based nakshatra is very minute. This is the most important nakshatra. What I have seen, that the nature, behavior, character of the person, the life of this person is according to this nakshatra. This is a ruling nakshatra. Likes, dislikes, events that is happening in life, the extent of Raja Yuga, the extent of greatness, happiness, misery, all of these things come with respect to this. This is very important. This is very essential. This saves your life path. And this controls, this nakshatra controls almost every life. The most important nakshatra, the most important nakshatra, if I have to say, this is the one. How it is done, as I told you, the day and the night is divided into 15, 15 equal parts. Here is the list. The first part of the daytime belongs to Shiva. The name of the Murta is Shiva. It corresponds to Adra nakshatra. If this falls on a Saturday. That means if in a Saturday someone is born in first nakshatra, this is a bad combination. This is a prohibited setup. What happens in this particular case? One suffers in life. Not much success is there. This is being born in a bad muhurta. The extent of all the good yogas, etc. become greatly compromised. Second nakshatra in the daytime, second Murta in the daytime belongs to Sarp is mapped to Asalesha Nakshatra. And once again, being born in this setup in the second Murta, second Murta of the day on Saturday is bad. Third Murta maps to Anuradha Nakshatra ruled by Mitra. Fourth Murta maps to Magha Nakshatra ruled by Pitrus. Fifth Mahurta to Dhanishtha Nakshatra. Sixth Mahurta to Purvasada Nakshatra. Seventh to Trasada Nakshatra. Eighth to Abhijit. Nakshatra, that is the particular reason around afternoon Abhijit Muhurta comes. You must have heard that every day around afternoon, after midday, Abhijit Muhurta is there. Because that part of Muhurta is mapped to Brahma and is mapped to Abhijit. But Abhijit Muhurta is not good on a Wednesday. So I have written Wednesday born person in Abhijit Muhurta midday is a bad combination. It is a bad Muhurta. Success is compromised. Ninth nakshatra of the day belongs to Rohini nakshatra. Ninth muhurta of the day belongs to Rohini nakshatra. Tenth muhurta of the day, Jeshta nakshatra. Eleventh muhurta of the day, Vishakha nakshatra. Twelfth muhurta of the day, Mula nakshatra. Thirteenth muhurta of the day, Satabisha nakshatra. Fourteenth muhurta of the day, Uttra falguni nakshatra. Fifteenth muhurta of the day, Purva falguni nakshatra. First muhurta of night, Raudra. Belongs to Rudra, belongs to Adra nakshatra. Second muhurta of night, Purva badra. Third muhurta of night, Uttra badra. Fourth Murta of Night, Revati. Fifth Murta of Night, Ashwini. Sixth Murta of Night, Bharani. Midnight. Seventh Murta, Kirka. 
एट्थ मुहूर्ता इन नाइट ऑल्सो बिलोंग्स टू रोहिणी नाइन्थ मुहूर्ता इन नाइट मृगाशिरा टेंथ मुहूर्ता इन नाइट पुनर्वसु इलेवंथ मुहूर्ता इन नाइट पुष्या ट्वेल्थ मुहूर्ता इन नाइट श्रवाना थर्टींथ मुहूर्ता इन नाइट हस्त फोर्टीन मुहूर्ता इन नाइट चित्र लास्ट मुहूर्त ऑफ द नाइट बिलोंग्स टू स्वाति now you see the last muhurta and the second last muhurta of the night chitra and swati falls in brahma muhurta it is believed that if one wakes up in brahma muhurta one gets longevity freedom from diseases long life why this happens because muhurta just before the sunrise 48 minutes just before the sunrise is ruled by swati that is ruled by vayu vayu the god ruling strength vayu putra hanuman vayu putra bhim both of them are known for strength and because this time is ruled by vayu by swati nakshatra waking up in brahma muhurta gives you long life gives you freedom from disease gives you strength gives you sustenance and all of these things swati nakshatra is also connected to making of pearl the rainfall in swati nakshatra makes the pearl for this particular reason at this point of time in brahma muhurta whatever you think and contemplate like pearl it grows up in your mind for this particular reason reading in brahma muhurta mantra chanting in brahma muhurta worship in brahma muhurta is considered very like pearl whatever is done in brahma muhurta that thing is known to the world if you read in brahma muhurta your intelligence will be known to the world if you sleep in brahma muhurta your ignorance will be known this thing that you do in brahma muhurta grows upon you because swati grows upon the world because vayu grows upon the world where there is nothing darkness and air will be there even where there is nothing the nothingness is because the last point in nothingness is the absence of air this is the importance of brahma muhurta and this comes because this part is mapped to swati nakshatra so what you should do you should take your birth time either in day or night and make the division according to these nakshatras and that will tell you what is the ruling nakshatra when you divide your birth time into these mahurtas this seems like a difficult task but it can be very simply done using help of a simple software that is named drik pancha i think there is android and ios application for this and this is also available online over web so you have to search drikpanchang.com is the website you come to home page it is there you select panchang and you go to sorry <clears throat> yeah you select panchang so you select muhurta and you come to do ghati muhurta you click over it and then there is this particular list you can select the place you can select the time selecting the place and selecting the time say i take it as 2006 february someone is born on 15th of february 2006 in which muhurta this native will be born into what the software does it sets it divides the day into 15 parts and night into 15 parts for you so say on 15th of february 2006 someone is born in new delhi around 10:44 am to 11:28 am in this sangava before this icon you click and you will find that this is ambu muhurta the sixth muhurta where the ruling nakshatra is purvashara you can easily find the ruling nakshatra here so you cannot find the lord for which you will have to refer to my table but mahurta division you can easily find so for this person born on 15th of february 2006 in delhi between 10:44 am to 11:28 am purvashada nakshatra is the most important whatever is indicated by purvashada whatever predictions made by purvashada whatever whatever is the nature behavior character of purvashada nakshatra that will be the most prominent in the native personality purvashada nakshatra will decide his life path purvashada nakshatra will decide everything for him success misery happiness 
everything, whatever you can imagine, this is the most important question. Now, because this person is born in Purva Shara Nakshatra, and if somehow this is negative, per se, if this person is born on a Thursday, in Purva Shara Nakshatra, it is prohibited, it becomes a bad nakshatra. So the Lord is Jala. So you can do the mantra of Purva Shara Nakshatra, or you can do the mantra for the Jala God, the water God, Pavamana Suktam should be done. Doing this will alleviate the bad Mahurta combination and will make the person successful. And for those who don't have a bad Mahurta combination, doing Pavamana Suktam, doing the mantra of Purva Shara Nakshatra will make them more successful, more fortunate, will give them better life. This is proven by experience. Once again, my basic point is based on the software or based on the manual calculation. As per the Bahurta you are born in, you should find which is the ruling nakshatra and that decides your nature, personality. and Whatever is the nature, behavior and character of the nakshatra, that nature, behavior and character is there in the nakshatra. This is Without any doubt. In this case, Magha Nakshatra is a very good nakshatra. Indicates great success, great authority. Dhanishta is a very good nakshatra, gives great wealth. Purvashada, Uttarashada is a good nakshatra. Abhijit is also a good nakshatra, gives Rajiyog. Rohini is also a very good nakshatra, gives all types of enjoyment. Vishakha is also a very good nakshatra, gives many servants. But the person is also, you know, having to take care of many people. So, much responsibility is there also. Uttara Falguni, Purva Falguni are again good nakshatras, give all types of prosperity and everything. Purva Bhadra, Uttara Bhadra is very good. Gives all type of enjoyment, happiness, whatever one can imagine. Rohini, Mirgashira, Unarvasu, Pushya, Sravan, Hasta, Chitra, Swati, these are also very good nakshatras. One born in these nakshatras have near perfect life. You know, there is nothing that is lacking in their life. As per the societal standards, their own standards, as per the standards of parents, they live a prosperous, happy, contented life, for sure. Other nakshatra people, other nakshatras are somehow a bad nakshatras. And whatever is indicated by these nakshatras, those issues, those problems are there for which the mantra of the nakshatra or the mantra of the associated deity should be done. In this scenario, Aswini nakshatra also indicates Raja Yoga and Revadi Nakshatra also indicates huge wealth. So if someone is born in these portions, they are going to have these traits. Along with this, whatever is the trait of Nakshatra that I have talked about in many of my Nakshatra videos should be applied to these natives and you will find that surprisingly their ambition, what they wanted to do in life and their life path is exactly matching to this Nakshatra. No other nakshatra is as important as this nakshatra is. So pay attention to this nakshatra and whenever you read a horoscope, try to analyze a horoscope, use this technique.